Hi guys, Megan here. Well, I found this cork board in our basement and I thought, you know, rather than just try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace, why not make it kind of cute before I do and make a little bit more money and do a video. So here I am and we're going to get started. I've got chalkboard paint, I've got new stencils we're going to do, and just we're going to make it a little bit more interesting than it is right now. So you ready? Let's go. First off, of course, you prepare your surface, which is, of course, taking off the tacks and taking off the sticker, which thankfully came up very easily. So I just took a damp rag just to wipe everything down, not wanting it to get too wet uh, because uh, corkboard is porous. So that was an easy process. Next, I grabbed the chalk paint, which I had found secondhand. Um, and that's Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. So this is my first time using it. And it was a little thick, uh, but it was still in really good condition, still usable. And so it took me a little bit to stir it up, just make sure that it is a very good, not super thin, but uh, uh, consistency where it is just lightly dripping off the stick. Um, and then I did not tape the edges because I have a plan down the road for the edges, which um, I'm pretty sure, I was pretty sure that the chalk paint would do a good job and adhere to it all right. So pretty much you just get your layers of paint going and just enjoy, set some music up and go to town. First layers on. I, this is my first time working with pork board, so I am going to let this dry and see what it's like, see how much is absorbed. But I put it on pretty thick, knowing that cork board is pretty absor um, absorbent and everything. So let's put the paint in a plastic bag, save it for a couple hours, and we'll come back to it after we're done. Hey guys, just remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see a lot more DIYs of all different types, mostly furniture and things to put in the household, but you never know what I'm going to find from the thrift stores or different places that we renovate, and I want to take trash and make it into treasure. So, like, comment, let me know what you think. All right guys, so I just did the second coat and I decided to try seeing what the chalk board paint would do as a primer for around the edges. So since it's a pretty thick paint and uh, just see what it is because I have a plan for the edges, but I thought, hey, why not use it as a primer? And that's why I didn't tape around it because I have a plan for it and I think it will bond pretty well to the, but that's what this video is for is to try it out and see what will happen so we'll let this dry and then we'll get back to it later 
The stencil I'm using here today is one that I bought from Hobby Lobby and it was about four to five dollars. Kind of fun, just wanted something a little bit uh, earthy and everything like that. And I just dug into my paint supply, which is kind of low at this time, but I found that I have a linen white chalk, Rust-Oleum chalk paint, which I did a base coat of across the board just to lighten up over the area to begin with because the green paint that I have is actually a semi-gloss Valspar ballroom dancing color paint that I have and yes you will find that I am going to experiment and I'm going to try out different paints um different types if, as long as they're water-based chalk paints water-based this one is a water base as well so I'm going to use them together because sometimes you just have to try it out and see what you like and I love a little bit of gloss I like a little bit of shine and I also like a little bit of matte and blending them together makes my life happier I also decided to add a little tiny bit of spray paint to the process because it needed a little shine so it was a uh, satin nickel another rust-oleum color and then uh, after I took the stencil off, needed to touch up the black just to make sure that it was nice and clean with all the edging and everything like that. And then you turn it around and do the same process. And I used, for my brushes, there are special stencil brushes that have a very flat bottom, different sizes to help with the different sized stencils that you'll be using or the more intricate or different types. But I have a three set, three different size ones that I will have in the descriptions below and I got them off of Amazon. And as you can see, I am just going and blending the two together, adding some white, adding some green until it kind of makes me happy and copying what I did on the other side. we're back so I decided to go along and try out adding some more leaf pattern here because I was feeling like it was just a little bit too rectangle and I'm still trying to decide if I want to do um, if I want to bring in more leafage right here and here just to give it more of the whole corner just a tiny bit maybe because I was just feeling like it was just way too rectangle so the other side is still that way um, as you can see it just feels very to me it feels very rectangle I'm very much all about the design and the flow of it and it's supposed to be a leaf pattern and right now I know in the camera the lighting is just so that you can't see but I have um, white and greens in there and I did a little spray just give it a little metallic that just shine a little bit but I just wanted to make it a little bit more soft and a little bit of blending but so I'm gonna flip it around it should be ready to do the second time and we'll get to it and I can show you a little bit of how we get uh, how you add on with stencils it is a little bit tricky just because you want to make sure that you have um, you get certain edges where you're adding on to the leaves that you're not getting too blended in too many spots that look um, wonky if you want to say. So here we go.
get into some of those fine details and things that need to just be covered up again i grabbed one of my angle brushes from my canvas art supplies to use to fill in all those spaces and just use different things that you you can just to make sure that you cover over the things that are not wanted because the spaces in between and we're adding on to our stencil is going to have uh, marks that you can just paint over which is the beauty of paint. ready to go but I want to uh, paint the edges and so with that what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna use uh, wax paper and the tape to cover the whole entire thing and we're gonna go spray paint the edges and then lacquer them so that it has a really good seal and won't peel off because it's just the uh, basic metal outside we've got the kitties out because that's what I've done with them all day long it's been a beautiful day are you getting ready Roro yeah you didn't help me with this project this time now you are now you're out here goodbye but the hob is on a leash because she doesn't know when is a good time but we're gonna get spray painting we're gonna keep them out of this this mat be good for them to spray um get sprayed and all that they've already been spayed so anyways we brought it outside and so earlier you saw me trying to use this lovely little gizmo and it was plugged so i went and soaked the top and now i'm going to use it for the edges so we got a nice lovely dark copper and then I am going to um, give it a nice seal coat of a lacquer to give it a good, wonderful um, white.
All right, so we've lacquered it, but I don't want to wait too, too long because um, I don't want that to seal on the tape. So we're going to do the reveal right now, but I have to be very careful so that I don't smudge what still could be a bit tacky or wet. So here we go. Here it is. We finally have the finished product of our efforts today. So we've got our nice clean copper exterior with our beautiful lovely leaf foliage and a very versatile uh, cork board now. Um, we can't put chalk on it today because they say to let it cure for three days. So we're going to let that. I'm not going to write on it because I'm going to try selling it and let somebody else have it for their beautiful home and add so much more to it. So I hope you like this video. I'm going to find more little treasures from, uh, from different places. If it be my basement, if it be the thrift store, that's what I do. I love to take things that some people would throw away and not use anymore and give them a little bit new face and be able to let them be something amazing and treasures for a lifetime. So if you want to see more of that, hit the subscribe button and go ahead and uh, get that little bell so you can ding a -ling and let me know in the comments what you think and what you would do differently or different things like that. So till next time, see you later.